You ready? Hi, right, this is Everett, Everett's Watercolors. Welcome to my classroom. Uh, today I'm uh, broadcasting from uh, Chesapeake, Virginia, uh, live. And I'm also uh, sending it out to uh, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Twitch. Those that are broadcasting are, are going out to those different stations. And uh, I hope you uh, will sign in and uh, give me some comments. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me some comments on YouTube and uh, Twitch and, and Twitter. Uh, Gloria's in the studio with me today. Hi, everybody. And uh, she'll be checking the emails uh, in the chat and also uh, keeping track of the broadcast. And uh, as soon as I turn around here, I'll put the uh, chat room on and you can send me a message. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing uh, something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to be some doing some drawing or I'll be doing some highlighting of the sky light and the shadows and i'm going to be using some different tool different tools today so let's go to my uh my painting table and let me get started I'll go to my uh, uh overhead camera and uh, i'll switch you over there and see overhead camera i gotta turn off that uh sign okay and i'll turn on the uh the chat room i'm going to turn on the chat Okay, the chat room is live, and I move myself over. Turn on my light. Okay, okay this is uh, the setup today. Uh, I'm going to be highlighting a couple, a couple new uh, tools and products today that I'm going to be using. Uh, the first one is called the sketch and wash, and this is a this is a special pencil. Uh, by General Pencil, Sketch and Wash, and it's on my website, everswatercars.com. And also, I'll be using the uh, the water pen. Okay, and I'll show you how that works today too. So the water pen and the Sketch and Wash pencil. This, this kit comes with uh, two pencils in a package, and uh, and of course the uh, water brush is one single brush. So those, that's a that's a kit right there. Okay, we'll put that aside. And uh, on Sketch and Wash, let me just go over a couple of things here. Uh, on the Sketch and Wash pencil, uh, I usually do, I can do a full I can do a full science painting. This is just a more of a, a sketch using just the Sketch and Wash pencil, and I can get the darks and lights and so forth. So it gives me a nice gives me a nice uh, value study, or even a small painting just using the, the Sketch and Wash pencil. Yeah, that's one example. Uh, here's a here's a second example. I, I, I use the Sketch and Wash pencil to do a value study. That gives me the lights and darks. And I, then from that, I, I do a, a, a full watercolor painting. So the Sketch and Wash is good for value studies. And then using that reference there, uh, and this is all done in watercolor with no pencil over here. Okay, so there's a couple examples of the way I've, I've used the Sketch and Wash pencil for, for doing uh, small paintings and also uh, doing a, uh, a value study. Uh, before going further, uh, the values and the color wheel, the only thing on the color, I'm not going to talk too much about color today other than a couple of colors, but you can find on the color wheel, which is what I want to point out today, is that you can find a value scale on the color wheel it goes from white all the way to black 
So the tiller wheel has another uh, has another use as far as evaluating uh, the lights and darks, the lightest values over to the darkest values, and that's very important. Uh, Holbein, uh, they've changed their they've changed their logo now that the Holbein Holbein products are going to be uh, broadcasted with the the new Holbein logo up here. Okay, I just want to show it that there because I have all the Holbein uh, watercolor paints and also watercolor brushes along with paper and other products. Uh, my inspiration today was uh, this little this little sketch here I found in a, an art book here just to show some lights and darks. And I've used that kind of like a, as an idea. And uh, let me go to some of my colors I'm going to be using today. I start out with a sketch and wash pencil. And up here at the very top, you can see uh, a sketch and wash pencil with a lot of water in it. And then this is a sketch and wash pencil with maybe 50% water. And then this is just almost pure black. Uh, using the sketch and wash with just very little water. But if I look at the scale, I can see here that this is probably about a, this is this is called the gray scale and value finder. This is also a, a very nice little uh, tool to have. Uh, you can find these in art stores and so forth, but uh, this is what I use for gray scale. Uh, this can go from a, about a, a, a value seven, uh, the scale goes from 10 to uh, 1 to 10, 10 being uh, the number of being white and then uh, 1 being black, from 1 to 10. And then this this middle one here is about, just to me, about a, a level, level 3 or level 4, probably a level 5, level 5, that's a level 5 medium. And of course, the darkest one over here, is almost black. I get. I can go a little bit darker than that, but it's either a, a level one or level two. So using a value scale, I can I can tell exactly what value uh, my darks and lights are, and also comparing it to colors. Okay. Now what I did is I, I'm going to use two colors today. I'm going to use the the blue. In this case, it's going to be cerulean blue up here in the left corner of my palette. And I'm going to use also lemon yellow down here at my bottom of my palette. And uh, green number one. Now I can mix uh, uh, blue and yellow give me green, but I wanted to go and use the, the palette color to get go a little faster, a little more convenient. So what I did here was I took the, I took those mixes here of the uh, sketch and wash and I added the blue to that. You can see here that I get a a darker a darker tint of the blue when I put the sketch and wash with it. And of course, if I get darker a darker value, it gets a much darker blue, almost a black. And then of course, this here goes away all entirely. And I did that with the green. Now this this shows you the shadow the shadow color you can get with just a very light application of the sketch and wash with the light green number one. And then a much darker value with the uh, more sketch and wash with it. And then I mixed the uh, yellow lemon and uh, added the uh, light mix of uh, sketch and wash and then the darker mix. So you can see here, uh, there's a very, very defined value of color ranges or value ranges just by adding a little bit of sketch and wash with the color. And that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, rather than do a painting and do and do the the background with other color, other watercolors, I'm going to do the shadow patterns with the sketch and wash, with the watercolor. Hey, Alice, good to see you here. Yes, we're going to learn some more tricks here today. A uh, couple of things I'm going to show in the in a little exercise demonstrating today. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to do some clouds in the sky. And I can show you a little bit of shadow pattern uh, on the bottom of the sky. I'll use the sketch and wash pencil to do that. And also down here, when you do a, a green bush or a green tree, I can put the extra shadowing with the sketch and wash pencil. And if I do a light color tree, uh, I can also do this. Now, the values here are added to make them darker. And you can see here, if I add a little, a little 
of the uh, lemon yellow with the sketch and wash, I get almost a green mixture. So yellow and black will give me a green. So there's a very interesting combination of colors here, just using the sketch and wash pencil. Now, for example, let me let me uh, demonstrate here, and I'm also going to bring uh, get my water brush. Um, I got a couple of things here I want to show you here. The uh, sketch and wash pencil comes comes in a size here about seven inches long, but after a while, after using it for a while, it's going to shrink down to uh, something like this. So what I do is I also have uh, pencil extenders that you can add to the pencil. So those are available on my website also. So this on this here I'll demonstrate here the, this little extender I put on the on the pencil on the pencil stub here. Okay. And this is my water brush. And what you do here with a water brush, <laughs> put a top on it. You just unscrew it. And you put it under a faucet or and just uh, fill it with water, and it's it's filled with water all the way down the tube here, and then just by squeezing the sides, the water comes out. So I have a, a self-contained brush here. Uh, the water the water pen has a so it's a self-contained water color brush with water inside the tube here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna demonstrate it very quickly here with the sketch and wash. Let's say I was going a uh, here I'm going to do a positive shape of a tree using the sketch and wash pencil to give me the shape. And by using the uh, water pen, uh, you can see that almost it immediately just dissolves immediately, liquefies right into dark color. So that's a real that's a real advantage when when you're out sketching or just doing a little quick little study, uh, you can get a very very quick sketch of your subject matter uh, with the sketch and watch pencil. Now let's do another little study here real quick. Let's do let's do a backlit tree. And I'll put it in the dark background. So you always think about. Uh, uh, positive and the negative shapes of objects and also the surroundings. So here I can put in a, a background behind the tree. And then I just, and I go in and darken in the, uh, with the sketch and what, with the uh, water pen. Now also here, this become this becomes a source of color. For example, if I want to take this and I want to extend this out, you can see there, just by adding water to that mixture, it gets much lighter, much lighter as you go out. So I have a, a variation here of value that I can do. So if I want to have a, uh, a dark background here, And somewhere else I want a lighter background, I could just go over here. I could use this mix here a little bit and use it to do another another color or another value. So those two examples there of a, a positive shape, negative shape using the uh, sketch and wash pencil. So I do this a lot. I'll build a little reservoir of, of uh, black and white color and then I'll uh, use that to uh, use that to uh, add in the shadow pattern. Okay, all right, let's put that aside. And so my uh, inspiration was this little sketch here. I said, well, yeah, I can do that. I can make a sketch and watch out of that. So I did use that as an idea of some ideas to do. Then I took an actual photograph uh, that I've taken uh, several years ago of some trees. Now, if you'll notice, let me point out here that when you when you look at trees, when you go outside and look at a tree or look at pictures of trees, uh, the greens are not really as vibrant as as most people would paint them. 
because most trees have a very dull, a dull green. And so by putting a little bit of color with the, the green color, in this case, I'm going to put the uh, sketch and wash pencil, I can dull that color down to make it more like more realistic color than the green that should come out of the tube of a watercolor. So that's another advantage of using another color with the uh, color green. So I used that inspiration and I used the, my design of the trees and so forth. And I came up with a little sketch. So this is my starter sketch. I started to just to draw this up a little bit now. I'll hold it here if you want to take a quick uh, screenshot of that. Uh, it's got got some sky. I'm going to put some clouds up in there. And then in the background will be a, a little light background uh, with the sun shining on it. i got a little bit of water. And I'm going to change this a little bit in the actual painting. Be a little bit of water in the background, a little lake or a little stream or something. Then the trees. And there'll be a little mound here with some sun. The sun's coming from left to right. So I'm going to have... Uh, the one light here. This will be the impact area will probably be here because this will be the lighter area, and the sun will coming into the, the sun will come here and the shadows will be under the trees and on the trees. There'll be some shadow on the on the ground. Okay, so that's my training plan. That's my painting plan. Now uh, I want got a little smaller today. I'm gonna this is the this is ten inches by seven, about a ten by seven and a half inch uh, sketch. So ten inches long and about seven and a half inches high. So a little little smaller painting today, but uh, this is just a demonstration to just show you how I use the sketch and wash along with watercolor. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead. And, I'm going to go ahead and put the light in. I remember today's uh, subject matter is uh, painting the sky and the light. So I'm going to paint the sky first. So I'm going to use my hake brush. This is a small hake. And I'm going to use that to uh, pre-wet the sky a little bit. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to put a little bit of water in the sky. So I'm pre-wetting the pre-wetting the paper. And I'm going to use. I'm going to leave some dry spots here because I want to put some clouds. So I'll leave some little dry areas that I can put some cloud formations in. Then I'm going to pick up the, use the same hake, and you pick up the uh, cerulean blue and go right in and put that color right on the sky. So on a sunny day, this is going to be uh, the sunlight. And I'm trying to see uh, a little bit here of what I'm doing. So I'm leaving some of the white paper because uh, I want to put some clouds up in the sky. So the white paper showing is going to be the cloud formations. I want the color to be a little bit lighter at the bottom. If I can control this now. And a little, just a little patch, this little patch right there, a little small cloud right there. Okay, I'm going to dry that.
Okay, so I got two, uh, got a large, medium, and small cloud. That's a large, medium. So I'm going to need to dry a little bit more. And now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the sketch and wash pencil and I'm going to put a little. Now, remember, I showed you the scale of how much, how dark you can get with this pencil. So I'm starting with a very light application here. And just putting a little bit on the, on the bottom of this cloud. I'm going to put a little shadow under here and a little bit over here. And a touch down here in this little one. We've got a little small piece down here at the bottom. Okay. Then I'm going to take my, I'll use my, my water pen. And I'll take the water pen. I'm going to go in and I'm going to wet the sketch and wash pencil. And I'm going to create the shadow pattern on the clouds just by moving the, the sketch and wash pencil marks and over here this is just a demonstration to show you what can be done with the sketch and wash pencil you can see here, the more the water, the more water I put on there, uh, the lighter the value gets. Little cloud shapes. Use some soft edges, some hard, some hard edges. Just by moving the the uh, brush around, uh, around the edges. To make soft edges, hard edges, a variety. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, while I'm down here, I'm gonna I'm gonna change brushes also. Um, yeah, here's the colors. I usually write, I write them out for you on the on the pad. Uh, cerulean blue is the blue I'm using, uh, yellow lemon, and uh, green number one are the colors. And of course, the sketch and wash is where I'm adding the shadow, which is really the dark, the dark value. Okay. Let me change, uh, change to another brush. Now I'm going to also, while I've got the uh, cerulean blue out, Uh, here I'm using the uh, silver brush, uh, black velvet number eight round. And it's a nice brush to have. Also, uh, it has. A, I'm going to put a little bit of water down here, so I'm going to put water. This is a lake, a little lake here behind the trees. I'll start with the dark, and I'll put some water in my brush. And then I'll make it a little lighter as I come forward. And uh, the value, the values of either the sky or the water is the same. Or would you want to have? It's a flat surface uh, compared to the vertical of the trees. So a flat surface would have a a value change from forward going back to the rear. So the back here I'm making a dark. I'm making a the back area dark. And the forward area light, light to dark. That gives me the impression of of depth. So this is where I changed that sketch a little bit. I'm I'm putting more water. I'm making a little more water scene here. 
So I'm adding a little bit of water behind these trees. Make it more interesting. It would make a more interesting watercolor painting. Okay, and off here to the left, I've got some water over here also. So uh, this will make it into a, you know, interesting little thing with uh, some trees and water in the background, some sky. But really the whole purpose of today's uh, demonstration is to show how to put the shadow patterns in and also uh, how to use the sketch and wash pencil to do that. Uh, So there's the uh, cerulean blue to paint in the watercolor of the water, the color of the water, okay? Now the next step I'll do is start putting in some of the trees. The first tree I'm going to hit is the, uh, the light tree. And what I'm going to do here, this is going to be my impact there right here. Let me, let me dry that, make sure the Sure, I'm going to make sure the water's dry. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of shadow. This is now the sun's coming from left to right, so I'm going to put the shadow on the right side of the tree. So this little tree here is going to be my lightest tree. So it's going to have, you know, have a little bit of shadow here, a little bit of shadow on the right. So I'm going to put a little bit of sketch and wash here, a little bit of dark here at the base, and a little bit up the side. Okay, then I'm going to take the. I'm going to paint this really light. So this is going to be this is going to be my lightest value. I'm going to use the lemon yellow here. This yellow lemon will give me a nice bright impact area color. And uh, so it's going to have your yellow leaves on it. And as I mix it in with that sketch and wash, you can see the color change. It turns almost into a greenish dark which is nice. That's okay. I want it to be a little bit green. It also gives me that shadow pattern on that right side. Okay, so that's how I added the shadow to the tree, just by putting the pencil down and then going into that. Uh, now the other one that I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of yellow over here. I'm going to put a little bit of yellow on this tree, just a little bit. The tree over here. But now I'm going to start picking up the green number one. So this this tree is going to have less yellow on it. It'll have more green. And also, I will add a little blue to it. That way, I, this green is just uh, the green just is not realistic. It's uh. And this is, you know, this is this is not a realistic painting. Uh, this is just a demonstration of putting colors on to a a painting, and then adding the and then adding the shadows. Before I go any further, let me put the uh, let me put some shadows in here. I'm gonna put just a little bit darker over here. This is a bigger tree, so I'll put a little bit more. So here, the first my application is to put the color down first, and I'm putting the, uh, uh, I mean I'm putting the sketch and wash down first. The sketch and wash pencil, putting the shadow pattern. You know, as I go into that, as I go into that color. With the green mixture. Uh, you can see the color change and the value change from that black from that sketch and watch pencil. That's giving me the shadow side of this tree.
Now I'll add a little more blue to that because I want to have a little more, tr a little more gradation of color too. So add a little bit of blue to that. You make it just a little bit darker. And then uh, playing around with the yellow more. Okay, I'm going to work on this side also. Over this tree over here, I'm going to have uh, uh, going to have a shadow on this tree over here. So I'm going to put the pencil down first. A little bit of shadow on the bottom, around the edge. And there'll be some shadows up here. And here, I just mark some areas I'm going to put shadows in the tree because there's the limbs and the different parts of the trees are going to show up as shadows. So mix that, I'm going to mix that uh, green in with the blue again. And I'm going to come up here right next to this little tree and pick up that shadow pattern. I'm gonna take a bigger brush. I'm gonna take a. This is the uh, well brush. It covers a lot more space, and I, I can move move a lot faster. The number eight brush is okay for tight places, but uh, we can move out now. We're moving into bigger areas. And I can also, while it's wet, the, uh, the sketch and washes also can be added in as a, as a, it's the way you can see the, the dark marks that I'm making here on, on the wet paper. And I'm just going to be playing around with the edges here a little bit to get some more shadow going. You see that, that shadow pattern that's getting into the tree there? And I just the little marks, just showing it. There's a formation of a tree. Branches and, and uh, different parts. There's several trees over here. Okay, I'll let that one dry now. I can work on this other side. I'm going to go over here and get this tree. Mix in some more blue. Tom, Tom Sneed would like to know what's uh, what weight paper do you use? Oh, this is uh, this is my standard paper I use, 140 pound uh, Gemini cold cold press, 140 pound watercolor paper, 100% uh, cotton archival, and it's it's my go-to paper that I use uh, in all my paintings. It's uh, very reliable. Uh, What I'm doing here, I'm really putting in the base coat, so I'm going to go back and put in another layer in some places. So I'm really getting the base coat of the colors down here. Because I'm going to go back in and add in some more color on top of this, but this just gets the base coat going. So putting down the first layer uh, is just to get the color started. And then I can adjust the value and uh, the edges and so forth on the second on the second go. I'm not trying to make these colors realistic here. I'm just trying to get some colors down and just uh, 
uh, and also I'm going to put in some more sketch and wash, especially around the shadow areas. The sketch and wash pencil I used, I used in all my uh, plain air. When I go outside to, to uh, capture a scene, I'll have my, my, my small palette and I'll have my sketch pad and I'll have my sketch and wash and I can do a quick value study with the sketch and wash pencil and uh, get a pretty good idea uh, of what I'm going to paint and how I'm going to paint it just by doing a sketch and capturing the values, the lights and darks. Okay, there's one little bush down here I want to capture. There's a little bush on the side over here. Okay, back here in the background, well, let's not ignore the background. There's a small background, a little bit of ridge, little ridge of trees or a little low lining. So I'm going to put in some, uh, some blue mixed in with that green. I'm going to go back here and put that in. And it's going to be in behind. This is this stuff is still all wet, so I'm going to be careful going around some of these edges. I just want to get a I just want to get a color started back in these areas. This is going to be a background color starting behind this tree. Then there's the water, and as I work under the as I work under the uh, the trees here, this is where the shadows come in. So I'm going to put in some sketch and wash here with a pencil. You call this a sketch, well, it's, it's sketch and wash because you sketch with the pencil and then you put water with it and you get the wash. And you can get a dark, a real dark color, uh, a medium, a medium value color or a light color, depending on what you, what you need at the time. So now I'm adding in this real dark here at the bottom underneath these trees. These are the shadows under the trees. And I'll put some more under here. So see, I can, I can go in first before I put the color, then later on, I, if, if I want to add more, I always add more on top of the color. So I'm showing you two ways here of adding the color before and after painting. A little shadow pattern there. And as soon as that water hits it, it really, it really comes alive. There's that little bush here I want to capture. So as soon as I put that color, I mix up some green and blue and go under here and get the, you can see that color now really turning dark. As soon as it hits that, that sketch and wash pencil, it turns almost black. This is really a dark green now. This is the shadow pattern underneath these trees. And I can use a bigger brush. Don't be afraid to use a bigger brush because it get it's uh use the biggest brush you can up to a point until you get to some places where you have to use a smaller brush. But use a bigger brush as long as you can get away with it. Uh, it makes your strokes simpler. It has less you have less uh, movement on the brush, and it covers the area a lot faster. Because I'm I'm painting around the tree trunks here too. I made I made some changes to that sketch I did originally, so I got some tree trunks here that I added to the design for a little interest, also. Over here, I can start putting in a second coat I want to do. So, with that mixture of uh, green and blue, now I can go in and put in some. Some texture look here on the tree. Give it a little, give it a little uh, action here. Be some uh,
and let me set up a little more uh, over here i can put a darker color in here again just to break it up and to uh, add some texture some look of tree this one here needs some work on it so i'm using is three colors today the yellow and the blue and the green uh, to work on this composition Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I can work here in the foreground. I can do some down here. Uh, first thing I'll color in is the uh, yellow. I'm gonna make a yellow, uh, yellow green mixture. It's a little bit of green on the brush, a lot of yellow. And I'm gonna paint this little hill here. So this will be a grassy hill. Mix them a little bit of green. So this is a, a light, a light green grass that's growing on this hill, the slope. If I can get that in, okay. And a lot of light hitting us too. So this is also to show that this is a path of light coming through the the scene here, uh, hitting across the the foreground. And hitting these trees. And I'll let that dry just a little bit. Now I can go in and hit the uh, the tree trunks. So what I'll do with the tree trunks, I'm going to take the sketch and wash pencil, and I'm going to draw in the tree trunks. I'm going to hit, do some vertical strokes here <laughs> with the pencil. So these are the tree trunks I'm going to put in. one here okay so now now the painting is starting to come together we got uh, uh, all the areas covered you got a few areas a few more white areas I want to cover first okay uh, let me dry this a little bit A little bit of, we'll catch that. I'll correct that. Let's keep trying. Yeah, what it is, I pick up the excess moisture sometimes with a tissue. If I see a, a see a little puddle in there and doesn't doesn't hurt the drawing or painting, I just go ahead and pick up the excess moisture. Uh, there was a little spot there that got the uh, it got wet. So what I do is just go ahead and take a little bit of yellow and just go over that a little bit. Now this this is a little bit tricky, not tricky, but just there should make me just keep a little white area. It'll be a change for something. Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is take the smaller brush, I guess, and I'm gonna take the the blue-green mix. Before I do that, I want this is all shadow. So I'm gonna go in here. This part is shadow underneath the trees. So I'm gonna use a sketch and wash pencil. I'm gonna use it almost black now. It's gonna be this is the darkest areas under here, under the trees and on the ground. So this will be this will be the shadow pattern. Underneath the trees. 
and it'll be a, a shadow pattern over here under this tree. So now I'm adding adding the dark shadows with the sketch and wash pencil. And you'll see where that really, once I put that on, that really makes that color really go dark. And I'm going to put just a little hint of it over on the shoreline across the lake here. Just a hint of shadow. There's trees over there, bushes and trees. So just a hint of that. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint in those areas. To get the sketch and watch on. Uh, I can use my water brush. The water brush with water, and that's very, very convenient. Here I'll put the, I'll just darken the trunks in. So I put the sketch and watch pencil on there, and I just go ahead and put the water to it, and then put the shadow underneath. You can see how how that how that dark color just pops right in there with that shadow, and then uh, this little tree here has a little shadow on the side. I leave a little white paper showing because there are, there are some light bouncing off the tree uh, limbs and off the, the ground, so leave some whites showing here and there. And this is all going to be dark also. Look at that. Wow. That's just going to be darker across there. Wow. 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 Now, what I want to do now is take some, take some green, green grass, greener, darker green grass. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint over top of that dark black. And then I'm going to bring that color out. There's still green. There's green in the brush. Uh, I mixed it with a little bit of that dark I just put around. And I'm going to pull that forward. And that green now is mixing, mixing in with that sketch and wash pencil. So it gives me a dark or dull green. And that's what I want. It's in shadow. It's uh, not in the dark shadow, but it's in a, in a, sh in a lighter shadow area. But it gives you another, <clears throat> gives you a variation of that green. So I'm going to load the brush up again. Same over here. I'm going to go mix, I'm going to go into that dark. And I'm going to add in this green in the brush. And you can see the color change. The brush picked up some of that sketch and wash dark. And mix it in with a green color. It gives me that dull green I'm looking for. Always add it in after, after I add the paint. Okay, now, <clears throat> now on the, for, the very foreground here, I'm going to put just a couple of little shadow patterns across here. Just, uh, just, just using the sketch and wash pencil to give me some. Uh, linear marks of dips and uh, dips and dashes in the in the landscape. Okay, then I'm going to take that mop brush with that green and blue mixture, and I'm going to paint across the foreground. Okay, right here, right across that. This is another shadow pattern that's coming across the ground from somewhere. Doesn't matter where. But that sketch and wash, that sketch and wash has, add, has changed the value of, or has changed the color and the value of that green. It's not, it's not a, a, a real vibrant green. It's only to be a duller green because it's in shadow. Let's see. Uh, now I'm going to take my uh, little brush again, uh, but number number six, number eight round uh, silver brush, black velvet. I'm going to go and do some. I'm going to do some touch up, just quick touch ups. 
So I want to, what I do with a touch up is I go in and I, I, I cover up all the, some of the white spaces. There's a little white over here. White over here. So I'm reducing the I'm reducing some of the white edges, some of the white paper that's showing. And I didn't I didn't put the up here because this was still wet. So I go in now and I'll I'll clean that up a little bit to clean up get that white edge off of there. Down here in the shadow pattern. Over on this tree. I'll leave a little, I like a little white because this, this is my light, a lighter area. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave a little touch of white on this one. No, number one for variety. Also just to give it a different look. So I'll cover up up here in a touch. Up here on the top half, and I'll come over and blend that in with the background tree. So I'll leave a little touch of white showing, and part of the trunk is showing, etc. etc. Yeah, as far as the background, uh, a little more, a little more blue back there, make that stand out. The sky. And around this tree. This is the impact area, so I'm taking my uh, detail here at this point, a little detail around this little tree, and that will make it pop out a little better. There's that I put that pencil across there. That's under that's it gives me the shadow pattern under those that for, uh, background. Okay. Okay. Well, that concludes the sketch and wash demonstration. I added the sketch and wash under the shadow of the trees, and I added on, in the trees, on top of the trees, under the trees, and so forth. So that's the real purpose of the uh, using the sketch and wash pencil, both for uh, drawing a sketch. I have several videos on my website everswatercolors.com on uh, using the sketch and wash also. Uh, now before I go, let me uh, let me put a let me put a, a mat around this to show you what it looks like as a painting. This is a little smaller mat. You can see there. Put that around there, and that turns out to be a nice little thing. Uh, Now I did an earlier one. I'll show that also. I did an earlier sketch. And I'll put the mat around that. So there's a little difference here. I, I did a little difference on the tree. I took more a little more yellow on this tree over here. And I did a little more shadowing on the trees. But the same effect of the uh, of the shadow patterns on the ground with the, the sketch and wash pencil and up in the trees also. So those are the two demonstrations I have today. So let me go over to my main camera. All right. So that was my demonstration today of using the uh, sketch and wash pencil. And it was just uh, a, a good way to demonstrate how I use that. And it's a very effective, uh, both for the uh, plein air sketches a study of value study sketches and also adding it to an actual painting which I did today. I took a scene and <clears throat> which had a tree line and water and clouds and I added uh, the shadow patterns that you could add in it. instead of using paint uh, I used the sketch and wash pencil and I try and also point out very importantly the uh, sketch and wash pencil gives you a different color when it's added to a, a paint for example the green and the yellow it changed the color enough to make it look a little bit duller and I think more realistic. So the sketch and wash pencil was very effective for doing that. Uh, it makes the paint look a little less paintery. It makes it look more realistic as far as colors go. 
So that concludes my uh, demonstration today. And I hope you uh, like that. And uh, give me a like and some thumbs up on the, the video. And uh, I'm going to be back next week at Thursday at 2 o'clock.